Before I make my remarks, I want to concur with the young lady who presented herself so well with the cost of your salary. It seems the first place to begin to cut is our protection, the firemen and policemen. Can you address the records? I'm Jim Walsh, 34 Minor Street, West Spring. And David LaPorte, 218 South Frank. Uh, again, I want to bring something up before I give my remarks. I see finally the American flag is correctly displayed. That flag was improperly displayed for months after month after month. The American flag should be in the center and higher than the other flags. It was not for months and months and months. I have proof here. Holders are improperly displayed. I'm glad it's been coming up. Thank you for that. In view of the fact we will not see the city of Wilkesbury purchase American flags to, for display throughout Central City due to lack of funds, I offer an alternative proposal. At the very least, the mayor and council should and can do is issue a formal public resolution or proclamation calling on all city residents to honor our veterans by displaying the American flag on Sunday and Monday <coughs> in the observance of Veterans Day and the parade and Betcher's Day itself, November 11th. Also to attend the parade of unable to participate. The sacrifice of the veterans and military far outweigh the sacrifice of displaying our nation's flag and attending the parade. Let be flag waivers. Secondly, I present before council several private citizens are in the process of establishing a citizen and business flag fund to raise the necessary money to purchase flags and holders to be displayed in Central City and Parade Route. What's needed before proceeding, however, is a written assurance the city will allow the placement of the flags on the lamps on the Market Street Bridge in Central City. Presently, commercial banners around many Central City lamps are located at a high elevation. This fact would hinder the placement of our nation's flag above the commercial banners. No flag or banner is to be above the American flag. We must, help, we must have the full cooperation of the city in order to go forth with the flag fund. In the event you agree to our proposal, we ask that the permission be invited. I'll now turn the uh, rest of the remarks to Dave uh, Laporte. Dave, well, or, in the record, please. David LaPorte, 218 South Franklin Street. Um, after coming to many meetings here and listening to Mr. Walsh's plea for help with uh, displaying the American flag proudly uh, in our city, I realize since my primary position in life these days is dealing with finances, uh, that the city <coughs> is not going to be able to fund him for this project because of Obviously, we don't have enough money to pay salaries, let alone buy additional flags. And Jim was thinking of 20 or 30 years ago when that was it, available, and I said, well, Jim, the economy has changed drastically in 30 years. So my idea was to establish a flag fund. Uh, I already have about $5,000 promised to this fund uh, from different people throughout the city. Um, I represent Penn Star Bank here as well. Uh, I work for them and I spoke uh, to our officers and we're certainly willing to uh, set up an account that we would open as a nonprofit flag fund account to fund this project. The problem comes into, number one, can we put the flags up? We can get permission to do that. It's on city property, which is the number one. Oh, the mayor get a copy? That's the number one statement on here. Uh, is permission to place American flags and flag holders on the white standards on Main Street and Market Street Bridge. Is Market Street Bridge shared by Kingston and Wilkes-Barre? Penda. It's Penda. Okay, so the permission would come from them. Right. And I know when I was a child that those flags were there. So I don't know if that permission needs to be gotten again. Or... Okay. Um, who would be liable? 
If a flag fell off, hit somebody in the head, hit a driving by a car, who is liable? Does the city have insurance that covers that? Or, you know, it certainly wouldn't be the flag thumb that would be liable. Uh, who would be responsible for placing the flags and taking them down? Memorial Day through Veterans Day is what was the proposal. So that would be like five and a half months that the flags would be on. Uh, the flag fund would initially pay to have the standards put in place and the flags placed. But then years after that, who would take care of that? Okay. Uh, the flags removed. Did the flags become the property of the city? Uh, replenishment of worn flags. The funds in the, would be from the flag fund. In other words, the fund would be perpetual to pay for the flags and materials needed, but not for the care of putting them up and taking them down. Repair and, re and replace flags when flags are displayed. That would be if flags get tattered throughout the five and a half months. Who would be responsible for that? Uh, placement of flag holders on light standards. The new light standards, is that possible? I've looked at them, you know, with the banners there. They probably would have to be removed. I see the, the wreaths that went up uh, today looks great around the square. On uh, the tall ones, maybe that would be a place that the flags would only be around the square because like, the ones on Main Street seem kind of short for the flag. And there are regulations <coughs> that uh, Mr. Walsh has brought up, and then the other picture was the good of the order. The bottom part, and what impressed me after this, uh, my dad was in the service, and he uh, was injured in Japan. Uh, he fought in the Korean War as well. He was covered in a flag when he was buried. And the thing that Jim brought up to me was to research the flag. And I've done a lot of research on the flag in the last couple of weeks. And the statement that I put here on the bottom that says the flag is a living thing. It flies because it honors a living country. That is significant. Really is significant. Never, I've been voiced out through all that, you know, I'm going to be six years old. Never, ever did I think of the flag as a living entity in a living country. And that statement in the code of the American flag meant a great deal to me. And believe me, I'm more empowered with this movement than I ever was. So as far as the funding goes, I am sure we can raise the funding. Maybe this needs to be done in steps. The Market Street Bridge is the first step. The square maybe would be the next step. South Main Street, Main Street, the third step. I don't know. I would say that council is in total agreement with you that it is a great idea but there are things we have to look at first. Um, are, are all the flags the same size? They all have to be three by five. Okay, if you can get the factory spec on them, um, because then we have to uh, work with Twitch Fry and, and his people to make sure that the uh, poles will hold the way and everything yep. else. So if you can get that to Mr. Ryan, you'll okay. get it to the appropriate people, okay. and the city will be back in touch with you. Right. Right. We, also, um, we also need to um, <coughs> specifications of these. Oh, the folders were right. Just so we can. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. On this first issue about a proclamation for citizen request from the citizens, can we do that? But there's one other reason why we should. We can't. And it should be done, at least. Basically, we're looking for some article in the paper that says Veterans Day is approaching. It would be the city is proclaiming. Please place five. <laughs> okay, well, we can't control what the papers write, but those men on the side over there can. But this, well, he's looking for something coming from the mayor's office. Yeah. 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 Someone yeah. of an official. Yeah. I think that's all we can Especially this council were against 
putting up these flags. But funding from the city was just not possible. The funding is available. We, I've been raising money for a long time. We can get the money. Now we just need to work out the details. Can we see a proclamation or resolution? Do we need a motion now? That is by Saturday, the latest. I don't have a problem. I'll make the motion that the mayor do a proclamation request that all residents of the city call a resolution. Resolution. General call it. Well, you can do a resolution on behalf of council. Uh, right. say that best what day. formality you use, we'd appreciate it very much. And then asking people to fly the flag Sunday and Monday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. I'll make that motion. Second. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. We very appreciate it. Very and we didn't want to go forward with getting the funds started, and then people would say, we gave you the money, but now where are the flags? Mm -hmm. So we want to have it in place that we have this in writing, that this will take place, and then we'll start collecting the money. Okay, sir, excuse me. Excuse me, there's a motion on the table. Oh, I'm I'm in a second. Sorry. We have to take a vote. I follow. Okay, thank you. Um, the the uh, motion is from Tony, and second is from George. Mm -hmm. Okay, the uh, vote is Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. George. Yes. Mrs. Lavelle. Yes. And Mr. Merrick. Yes. Motion passes. Thank you, gentlemen. This is not a battle between us. No, no sir. This not is at all. the way I think we all well, we are under. Thank you. Thank you. Your intentions are very good. We are on a time limit. Thank you okay, very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Karen Leonard.